Welcome back, everybody. So we are starting off today on our beautiful new Iguanodon. To go gather up some metal. And uh, after that, we're going to locate our new base area. Um, I want to make it central to where we're at. And then we're going to find a Dodic. Well, I guess I'm going to do that. You're not going to see that. But I'm going to find a Dodic. And we'll start building our, our, our permanent base where it's going to be at work. Our, our end game base so we can really start focusing on getting stuff done but uh, yeah i'm gonna go gather up some metal for both of and uh i'll be back so these two together work really well i uh, i'm very very happy with these teams um we can carry quite a bit between the both of us uh so th this is this is actually really good I'm, I'm really happy that this worked out this way let's put this in manual Okay, so I was breeding up some uh, stegos here, and this is what I ended up with. I got a single mutation on them, but this thing's a monster. Put some speed into them. I guess I'll put some health too, but it's it, this thing's a beast, man. I hit my tree accidentally, which I'm really upset about. Like that's how much wood I got from that. So let's go downstairs. This is gonna just this is I know this we're getting sidetracked a little bit, but I'm excited about this. This is a big deal. This guy is fast, agile. Oh crap! I did it again. Look at all that wood, dude. I don't need a beaver. I don't need any of that. I mean, we got it all. Look how many berries we get. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm thinking this is where, like, look at how close we are to the resources. If we're around here, we'll have a better chance of success. Um, maybe even building right above the cave here. I don't know. Um, it's all pretty dangerous, most definitely, but it's, it's manageable. I'm sure we can make it happen. Like, this is a cool spot here. Is there micro raptors? I guess that's the first uh, order of business. Is there micro raptors? I don't see any. I see trodunes. This is a pretty dangerous area, but if we can get established here, well, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Um, I, maybe I need some. I need a little more flatness, though. I think. Oh yeah, out here. Yeah, this is it. This is what we want. Um, this is absolutely perfect. What is that? We'll have to clear out some stuff. I just want to get a kind of a baseline down here. So yeah, I think this is going to be perfect. And I'll fence off all around this. Um, I guess I'll just get some behemoth gates going. God, that's going to take me a long time to make. The thing is, I'm going to have to make them and then bring them back here. Um, and then we'll bring a bed. So, yeah, let's call this it. Let's call this our new base place. And I'm going to get building. Um, I'm going to get the Dodic over here. Because we got plenty of rock here. I'm going to bring the Smithy. Um, maybe I can upload some materials into the... A drop or something. To bring it over here. Or, you know what? I could just come on foot with everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I can do. I think I could do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna we'll put we'll keep him on neutral. He should be fine. I'm not worried about him. Um that's I'm gonna head back to base and we're gonna collect everything up and start our arduous journey over here with all of our animals and uh with some structures as well. But uh, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Shit. Like I said, I'm blind. Um let's get him killed. Actually, I should have checked his level first. Whatever. Watch, he's going to be like a 210. How much you want to bet? Oh, he is a high level. What level are you? 
No, he's only 105. Oh, we got stuff attacking us. What's that, what's that noise? It sounded like one of those stupid pigeons. Okay, is he going to not be able to do this? Okay, good. Okay, I did put a bed down, though. It's in the middle of that structure. And then we'll make this bigger um, later. I, I don't have any materials left. Like, I'm totally out of everything. Um, so, we'll have to get the Dodic down here. I have him with me. Oh, crap. Of course, I would be off by one. But we still can make it bigger. We have enough to make it big. Oh, yeah, bigger. Um, so, in the morning, I'll uh, bring you guys back in. And we'll uh, hopefully have a safe place to start creating our new home. And then this is going to put us right in the middle of the action so that we can get materials and stuff when it's needed. Um, instead of, you know, we'll still have to walk, but we don't have to walk as far, which is the whole thing. Just want to make sure I got them all. I got to turn these off auto. That's annoying. Okay, I think we got them all. Um, yeah, and I can build these out more still. I'm going to grab these. We have 16 left. God, I wish I would have made less of them now. But I thought for sure I was going to need like 50. That's really a shame. They, they just cost a lot. So let's get our stego out. Start getting some things out here. Look at that big beastie. I love him. Or her. Is it a her? Yeah, it's a her. What was that? You going to mess with the stego? Are you nuts? This guy will mess you up, boy. Oh, oh shit. Look at that. He's doing like 300. Was that him doing that damage? Oh, no, no. Let me fight. Yeah, it's doing 341. Holy crap. This guy's a monster. Yeah, this I love the stego so much. We can't see shit in here. But I don't think anything's going to be able to kill him. Because I got to... Look at that saddle. I mean, we got the sweet saddle. We can do the harden. Harden? Yeah, harden plates. I mean, this guy's a freaking tank, man. Okay, but I know you guys are just watching me play in the dark. Not that easy to do, but I wish I had a better Dota because the stone is really an issue. Um, let's see here. What am I going to do now? I guess we're going to have to go back. Crap. We have to... No, I need to build the middle first. Okay, so I guess we're going to do it here. I'm going to get stone and stuff here. Um, I guess we're just like, yeah, I'm going to wait till morning. So in a couple of what time is it? Uh, we only got a couple hours. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out for a minute. Wait for, what's with my guy? What's going on here? What the f you okay? Goddamn brain worms. Okay, hey. guys. So it has been about, I think, three days. Well, two and a half days since the last clip. And I have somewhat completed our new base location. We're going to be going there in a minute. Now, this build took me like 17 hours. And I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not exaggerating at all. Um, I took two days off of work to, be, to do it. Because I wanted it to be something cool for the first, uh, our first build here in this series. Big build. Um, I'll start it off with the... The main structure that I've made, I am not the original creator of this structure. I followed a guide on almost 99% of it, um, but it's still awesome nonetheless. So right now, what we're and I'll leave a, a link to the video of the guy who made this, but uh, right now I got to start transferring stuff, more stuff over there. Um, and I, I think I'm going to have a hard time doing this. We're going to have to make multiple trips. Um, like this stuff. I need to get... I guess I need to make another fridge, but I need polymer to do that. How much polymer does it cost? I guess I can just bring this over there. And then uh, we're going to fly back. Um, and we're going to finish up some stuff that I still have to do there. There's still quite a bit that I got to do on this build. Um... 
Now, it, I'll show you when we get there on how many resources this took to do. And uh, right off the bat, I did not cheat a single resource in this when I built this. This was all done legitly. The only thing I did cheat on a couple times is I did use the admin command for ghost. So I could get up in the air on a lot of the stuff. But that is absolutely it. I'll just be up front with you now. But uh, when it comes to materials, no. Did not cheat a single thing in the game. Um, I just did it like a hundred foundations at a time. Just kind of, you know, took my time. Well, the best I could. And I literally did it a hundred things at a time. So I would gather enough stuff to get a hundred foundations or a hundred ceilings or a hundred, whatever it was, and then take it over. And then, uh, the hardest part was this actually was the crystal parts that I needed for the greenhouse stuff. That was the most pain in the ass. Um, but we have a great metal operation. So I'll show you that when we get there too. But okay, I'm gonna pack up some stuff and we're gonna head to the new base. Okay guys, so now we are finally coming into the base here. And this is where our new home is gonna be from uh, this point on on the island. I made it uh, very large. It's still loading in, it takes a second. But uh, I, I, I'm happy with how it came out. This is the greenhouse over here. There's still some finishing touches that I have to do. But besides that, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I still don't have a lot of stuff inside because we don't have an industrial forge and stuff yet. But we'll go in there in a minute. I don't know what happened to my crops there. I wonder if they just couldn't grow. Oh, no, they're growing. But uh, here, I'll give you... A We'll uh, do one more fly run now that things are loaded in. And I'll uh, go around. Oh, shoot. Can't do that, can you? These rocks keep coming back. Even though I keep getting rid of them, they keep coming back. Which I guess is good, because if we need stone, we got our new Dodic. I don't know if I said that already. It's been a couple days since I uh, did the first part of this video. But uh, yeah, this is why I have not put a video out in the past uh, two days. It's because I have been building this. I think it's pretty sweet. I wanted to go all out for the first episode, or the first uh, series like this. But uh, yeah, we're going inside. So down here so far, I think we're going to do all dino. Uh, like activities like breeding we can do some down here for smaller dinos the rest will be out in the courtyard area um i got to breeder things in here with them there's no power yet i got to get power over there but i have to make another generator um this is upstairs this is like the cooking area kitchen area we'll put our industrial cooker in here our chem bench in here i think this is our fireplace where we're making up charcoal and it also is you know an aesthetic thing too which is nice this is the workshop but uh yeah i mean i think it's really nice light shines through the front there i really like it and then here's the upstairs this is gonna like i don't know what we're gonna do up here i'm gonna put my stuff up here i'm gonna probably put trophies up here um i got my beds up here i gotta fill in some stuff here to like cover these somehow and make it look nice uh, I might just put walls. I don't know yet. I put a lot of time into this thing. And I'm pretty burnt out on it. But, uh, yeah. So this is why. This is what took so long. For me to get a video out. Then we got our, our gate back there. I made it out of, uh, foundations. Uh, I, I can't remember how many foundations are in there exactly. But a few thousand. Uh, maybe like three. Or two. Something like that. But as I did a hundred uh foundations at a time like in the crafting station downstairs so i would clear this mountain yeah actually let me tell you this too let me show you uh, let's go uh how do we get out of here there we go i gotta put a door there still i ran out of stuff though in the middle of the building uh where is lightweight where are you at lightweight oh good god i just came all the way down the freaking thing i just grinded this damn rail that was sweet okay grab this guy so just so you can kind of understand the scale of this and how 
many resources this took. So from where we are at right here, everything that you can see, like everything, all the way to the redwoods, all the way down there, all the way up to the bottom of that mountain over there, up the mountain. I have cleared every rock, every tree, every bush, everything. And this entire area, as far as you can see. Like there was, I should have taken video of it, but I was just focused on it. And this whole thing, whole area was deforested at one point where you could see no trees almost. A couple stragglers here and there, but... Yeah, it was pretty epic. Um, just so you kind of understand. Yeah, this took me o over 16, 17 hours, something like that, to do. I took two days off of work to do this. Um, which is kind of stupid, I know. But I, I wanted to do it. And I still got to build a couple more towers. I got to put roofs on the towers. I, I started putting railings. I don't know why I did that. I, I should have put roofs. But I hate messing with the triangle roofs. Like over here, these. These were a nightmare. They were an absolute nightmare. Um, you can see now why I had to ghost though. There was just no way I could do this in a, in, in a timely manner and be accurate without ghosting. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is, uh, this is what we got. I'm very happy with it. Uh, this is, uh, this is our greenhouse right now. We got our crops growing up in here. Um, they're just started. They're still growing, but we got our thatch stuff over here going. Making up all the fertilizer. Uh, we still got to do lighting in a lot of areas. Oh, I got to put down my feeding trough somewhere. It's probably inside. I don't know if I should put it inside. I'll probably put it outside. Because I need to stop spawns in this area. I, I do. that. Oh, crap. Where is it? That is one issue I'm having. Um, where, where did I put the freaking feeding trough? Uh, spawns is a problem. You can't stop the spawns in here, and I, I, I can't want to get rid of those stupid foundations. They look terrible all over the courtyards. Um, we're going to segregate areas out here for different types of animals that we're going to end up doing. Where did I put that stupid feeding trough? I made one. I went to the other house, built it. We're out of wood. Am I out of thatch? Oh, I put it all on the thingamajiggers. We got stone still. Because our new Dodic is, an, is a boss, man. He is a freaking beast. Metal, we have a little bit left. Uh, crystal, we got a little bit left. Did I put it in here? Oh. I found this in an Alpha Raptor while I was building it. Which I thought was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I'm trying to organize things. I still need more storage, but I, I might have to change up the storage configuration. Maybe I'm going to switch these over to uh, those crafting stations. Because this takes up a lot of space, and I don't even have close to enough for every resource. Um, but yeah, I still don't know what I'm going to do in this great room here. I, I want to do something. I'm just not sure yet. We'll get there. Um, these areas have not decided what we're going to do with yet. And I got a thing there, of course. Great. Hanging down. Um, yeah. And I, I ran out of freaking uh, crystal when I was doing these a couple of these doors. I never put this one on. There's a couple like that because I ran out of crystal a lot of times. Um, yeah, here's another door that I didn't finish. There, there's a couple things that are unfinished. There's another one. But uh, for... Oh, see, and there's another one. Damn, I didn't even know that one. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's that's the new base. This is where we're going to start our new adventures. And hopefully beat the bosses in this game. That is the goal. And now we're going to start getting aggressive on getting certain things. The next episode, we need a U Tyrannus. That is the first priority so we can start getting kibble made. Um, we absolutely need kibble. So... Well, I appreciate everybody watching. I hope everybody's happy with the build. Please leave a comment if you if you like it or you don't or what I should change. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.